Hey everybody, uh, this video is going to be a little different. I'm going to do a giveaway here. Uh, this was provided to me uh, by GoSund for doing a review on. And um, I don't really need all these. And I also figure I'm not paying for them, so you shouldn't pay for them either. So I'm going to try it. I've never done one of these before. Uh, this is kind of a new thing. Give it a shot. See how it works. If it's uh, awful and a huge mess, hey, lesson learned. But I figured let's give it a shot. See what happens. So if you're interested in getting one of these sent to you, uh, it's going to be sent super cheap mail, you know, whatever the cheapest is. And then uh, you get to use it. So leave me a comment saying what you want one for and what you want to use it for or just why you want one. Maybe you want it to take apart, maybe you want it to pull the controller out of. I don't know. Let me know. Uh, your answer will not determine if you get it necessarily, uh, but really I'm just curious. And if you put in there I want one so that I can throw it at my brother, I'm probably not going to send it to you because there's much better things to throw at your brother's. So anyway, let's look at one. I, uh, I did look at one of these not too long ago. I actually own a set of these, and they've been fine. I actually used them in the other room, and they just work. You know, nothing all that special about them. I am curious to see if this is a newer version. I think the model was similar. The other one may have been a WP2. I'm going to have to check. I have another video. I'll have it linked down there, of course. But let's open this one up and take a look. Uh, I'll keep the one that I open up unless you desperately want this, you know, want this one for yourself. But like I said, once I'm done, I'm going to give these three away. Close this box up. Set it off to the side because we're going to open this up and see if everything is the same if they've changed anything or you know what the deal is so last time to get this open it was uh, it looked like it was heat sealed but it wasn't too bad to pop open so I'm going to pause the camera here and go ahead and get this ready to open and I'll come back when it's time to actually pull the back off after my last video I wonder if they saw I don't know because it, it was easier to get into the last one. This case is definitely going to be more chewy. There we are. Now it's free. Sorry, it slid out of center there. See that button? There we are. There we are. And this one also has, ooh, this one has that same schmoo in it. It's probably that weird semi-sticky, yeah, well, this stuff's actually congealed. Oh, yeah, a little bit. But we also have a loose blob of solder that came off of something. We'll look around inside. But... Last time there was this weird goo too, but it was now nah, it was kind of like that. It's just this weird, I don't know, it's some kind of glue. It's on the side of the controller, but I don't know why. I really can't see what it would do. Unless it's some kind of uh I don't know, fire retardant maybe. I don't know why you would put that stuff in there. If anybody knows what that goo is, let me know. Put it in the comments. But here's the rest of it. There's the controller. Let's see, is this has to be pretty tough to pull out, so we're not going to bother pulling it apart. Um, but it really doesn't look a whole lot different than the other one, if at all. See if we can get that relay to focus in. There we go. It's a 5 volt coil. 
8 amp 250 volt or 10 amp 250 volt hmm oh that must be max and that must be normal you know recommended so 8 amps that's pretty much like the rest of them now these are nice these are nice and strong these uh, plated terminals and we have a nice digital capacitor there too so that's good and I suspect I don't know because it's not marked but being that it works with smart things that's probably again an 8266 or similar T 201 V 1.0 because it even has the same markings on the back. There's ground. I'm trying to see if there's GPIO zero. There's a couple, yeah, IO zero, IO five, IO two. So the that's this is going to be an 8266. I'd be willing to put money on. I'm not going to bother on soldering it. Yeah, take my word for it. And then again, we have the fuse to the relay and the fuse to the low voltage power supply. Uh, this is a pretty standard design. Uh, I did a video on a light switch that um, has the almost identical power supply in it. Be curious if the values were even the same. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good. They they haven't gotten cheap, which is nice to see the housing is definitely more secure that was that was totally glued with the way it broke free finally I mean, you can see it tore the plastic off that was that was glued in there really well so I'll probably have to uh, glue this as well now first thing I'm going to do of course is try some heat Use the uh, the old hot air soldering, soften it up a little, and just kind of push that plastic back together. A lot of times, as long as it hasn't been sitting in that position too long, just warming up the plastics enough, it'll draw itself back into place. It still has that, you know, that mold memory. See how that goes on this one. Yeah, see? All right, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. That's uh, that's all right. It feels good. Feels tight. Yeah, you'd have to really, yeah, because I can't push it in. So that's good. This is the one I'll be keeping, I think, unless uh, I don't know if you really wanted it. I'm sure we could figure something out. But let's set it up. So we'll take our extension cord, our outlet fill-in, stand-in, and we'll plug in the outlet. And once it boots up, this should start flashing if it's ready to be paired. But it's definitely not going to boot up unless I plug in the extension cord. So let's plug that in. All right, now I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. There, you can kind of see it. There you go. Now you can see it. So the button is flashing. So we're going to go to the Smart Life app. We're going to add a device. And in this case, we're going to add a socket. 
and then reset the device first which we did and we want to make sure the indicator is flashing which it is so I'm going to tell it OK and then I'm going to tell it the Wi-Fi password and now it's connecting now we should see that light go off which it just did and now it's red and now the phone is going to finish setting it up and there we go my uh, Amazon system just said it's all it's a mini smart plug so I'm gonna change its name here to go sund I hope the echo understands that I think it should and now it's added and then done so now these the sockets on and you guys can't quite see that but I'll hit the button and you'll hear the relay click now it's off and that light is off so I turn it on that light comes on with a very faint red which is nice being that it's faint it's not very offensive and off which is nice It has a timer option, has a schedule option, which is nice. And then it has some settings. I always check the firmware, and they say it's all good, all up to date. So that's it. That's really all there is to it. The uh, casing's still the same, just like the other one. Uh, it does still take up two outlet spots, though. I wish it was a little thinner so that you could have two you know in a duplex that would be nice but these are reliable they're not expensive and if you leave a comment and tell me why you want one they're really cheap for you or at least for three people so if you have any questions about these or want to know where to get them look below the uh, link to buy them is in the description and any questions or comments will be below that so uh, yeah, this is the first uh, giveaway thing I'm going to do. I'm going to try it. If it works out, we'll try more maybe. If not, then hey, can't know unless you try. So as always, thank you for watching.